Hello students and welcome to my channel MK Tutorial. I am Yududa Madhvi and today we are going to learn about animal breeding from animal husbandry. It is a continued part from the animal husbandry and we have completed with all the farm managements. To go through the videos of the farm management, I have given the links below in the description box. But before starting with animal breeding, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. Now you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Let's start. Let us start with animal breeding. What exactly is animal breeding and why it is included in animal husbandry? But first let us understand what does breeding means. Breeding means it simply means mating. So breeding means mating or fusion or reproduction. So it is mating among the animal. Yes. Now what is breed? What does breed means? Now this term is really very familiar to us. We have completed with all the farm management and we have learned different different breeds. But what exactly is the breed? So breed is basically a small group of animal. Yes. So breed is, is a small group of animals and this small group of animals they are having a common ancestor they are having a common ancestor so breeding means mating and breed means a particular group of a small group of animals which are having a common ancestor now say for example we have learned in our dairy uh, farm management we have seen there are different cow breeds there are different buffalo breeds yes now say for example if you are talking about even buffalo breeds we have learned six different buffalo breeds so those all buffalo breeds those are the small group of animals and they are having a common ancestor now this breeds of the buffaloes now why we are using this buffalo bridge or why we are using this cow bridge what is the benefit to the humans so using this bridge is going to help us by giving the quality of the milk yes and also the beef or the cattle quality as in meat yes so it means that particular buffalo is having those desirable qualities yes the buffalo is having that desirable quality and because of that desirable quality only we are using that buffalo so animal breeding is divided into two types first is inbreeding and the another is outbreeding so what is inbreeding and what is outbreeding if the breeding is happening in the breeds yes if the breeding is happening within the breeds we'll term it as inbreeding and if the breeding is happening outside the breed we will call it as outbreeding some sort of like this to be in a more precise way i'll make you understand with the help of an example but before that let us get familiar with, with some terminology so you might come across a term called as closely related and unrelated. So this might be terms you might come across. Closely related meaning if I am having an Labrador, a lab dog, a male and I am mating this lab with a female lab. Yes. So after mating the progeny which is obtained that is also a lab yes so the characters present in this lab those are similar with their parent so this is how they are closely related and further this lab it might go and mate with the another lab of the same breed yes and again they might give a progeny as a lab only so this will go on for generation to generation till five to six generation and till the last generation whichever is the progeny is it will have those uh, characters imprinted in it so that will be a closely related unrelated what is unrelated unrelated it will be there will be one lab and there will be another a german shepherd yes so this two 
दो दे आर हैविंग अ सेम कॉमन ब्रीड येस दो दे आर हैविंग अ सेम कॉमन ब्रीड ऑफ अ डॉग बट देर एनसेस्टर इज नॉट अ सेम सो इफ आई एम डूइंग अ मेटिंग ऑफ दिस टू इट विल गिव मी अ मिक्सड ब्रीड येस इट विल इट इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू गिव मी अ मिक्सड ब्रीड एंड नाउ दिस मिक्स ब्रीड इज नॉट हैविंग अ कॉमन एनसेस्टर येस सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट दिस अनरिलेटेड एंड क्लोजली रिलेटेड इन डिटेल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इन ब्रीडिंग मीन्स इट इज अ मीटिंग बिटवीन टू क्लोजली रिलेटेड एनिमल्स विद इन अ सेम ब्रीड एंड दे आर हैविंग अ कॉमन एंड सिस्टर येस सो इन ब्रीडिंग मतलब क्या जहाँ पे एक पर्टिकुलर ब्रीड है वो ब्रीड के अंदर ही फ्यूजन हो रहे हैं वो ब्रीड के अंदर ही मेटिंग हो रही है ठीक है ऐसे वाले चीज को हम बोलेंगे इन ब्रीडिंग नाउ वेन वी आर गोइंग टू ऑप्ट फॉर इन ब्रीडिंग अगर हमारे पास एक पर्टिकुलर एनिमल है यस yes, वो एनिमल की जो भी डिजायरेबल क्वालिटीज है वो वैसे ही हमें प्योर इसमें मतलब प्रिजर्व करनी है हमें कंजर्व करनी है सो so, कंजर्व करने के लिए वी आर गोइंग टू डू द इन ब्रीडिंग यस सो वेन एवर यू वी वॉन्ट अ कैरेक्टर ऑफ आवर ओन चॉइस जो कि डिजायरेबल क्वालिटी वो एनिमल में प्रेजेंट है विल डेफिनेटली ऑप्ट फॉर इन ब्रीडिंग लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड इट्स कॉन्सेप्ट वट इट इज बेस्ड ऑन इफ आई एम हैविंग अ बफेलो और लेट इस टेक अ कप सो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इन ब्रीडिंग इज सो दर इज अ कव एंड द फीमेल सुपीरियर कव सो दिस इज अ सुपीरियर फीमेल कव नाउ आई एम सेंग दिस एज अ सुपीरियर फीमेल कव बिकॉज वेन आई एम यूजिंग द डम सुपीरियर इट मीन्स दिस पर्टिकुलर कव इज नॉट अ रेगुलर और अ नॉर्मल कव एंड इट इज हैविंग समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी समथिंग स्पेशल इन इट नाउ वट कुड बी अ स्पेशल इन अ कव Yes, the special thing is its lactation property. The production of milk is really good compared to the other normal cows. So therefore, I'm terming it as a superior female cow. Now, iski achhai kya, iski benefit kya hai? It is the milk production. Okay. Now, on the other hand, I'll take superior male bull. Now, what is this bull is going to benefit us? the bull is going to help to increase the progeny yes it is going to help us to increase the progeny it will give a good amount of healthy progeny to us now we have taken a superior female cow and we have taken a superior male bull now those both are belonging to a same breed and they are having a same ancestor now let us do its mating so as far as mating is concerned what will do now this is a bread yes this is a bread and from this bread we are having a superior cow and we are having a superior bull so they are mated and after mating we are going to get the progeny now this progeny is going to be a superior or inferior obviously the progeny is going to be superior because it's coming from a superior cow and a superior bull so progeny obtain is going to be superior now from this progeny again there is male and female is identified and further again they are mated and likewise it is made for generation to generation generation to generation and keeps on going and that's how the inbreeding concept work so there are certain advantages as well as disadvantages of doing this inbreeding now how this inbreeding is going to help us but at the same time it is also having some disadvantages the inbreeding is going to help us by first thing there is an evolution of pure lines that is the homozygosity is maintained the pure lines the pure product the pure breed is maintained it means the characters are not lost anywhere and at the same time there is a collection of superior genes yes superior as in there is a collection of a desirable a good quality of superior genes are maintained and they are conserved in those inbreded animals the last thing is if there is a collection of a good thing then there is an elimination of an bad thing yes the elimination will be there will be elimination of the harmful or a less desirable genes 
so there will be the elimination of the harmful or the less desirable genes so these are certain advantages of doing the inbreeding within the breed but what if we kept on doing this inbreeding continuously continuously it happened yes so if it is happening continuously yes so it will result into something called as inbreeding depression yes so inbreeding depression means if we are doing the inbreeding continuously in a particular group that results into inbreeding depression inbreeding depression means it reduces the chances of fertility why it is reducing the chances because just an one animal and it is given for the mating or for the fusion for numerous times so its body loses its capacity and it leads to inbreeding depression depression means to decrease yes so inbreeding depression it simply means it reduces the chances of the fertility now this becomes the problem if there is a less chances of fertility ultimately it is somehow somehow the other is going to affect the productivity also now to have a solution for this problem or to overcome this problem we have to go and do the outbreeding so that's all for inbreeding